Hello Scorpio and welcome to your reading. We are going to get messages from Spirit for right now for you guys. So let's get into it Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know right now. Alright, romance focus. You must decide. And karmic balance. Okay, so Scorpio, right now there is something on your mind where you feel like you were wronged in some capacity, okay? Some of you, it could absolutely be around a romance. And as a general reading for others of you, this is around a different relationship. Um, it could be around, you know, something to do with a friend or a family member, a coworker. All right. Um, but somebody has hurt you. Somebody has upset you and you've been trying to decide what do I do about this? Maybe even do I seek revenge? Do I retaliate? Do I let this person go? What am I supposed to do? Spirit, what is the purpose of this relationship? Why did this have to happen? Okay, so you've had a, a lot going on mentally around a relationship that has caused you a great deal of pain. Again, could be a friend, family member, romance, coworker, or maybe, you know, somebody in your church or a group that you belong to. You just feel very disappointed unexpectedly because with karmic balance what they did from your perspective is very wrong and very hurtful and it's like okay all right watch what i can do watch how i can bring you down and you've really gone back and forth within yourself so that's what spirit wants to talk to you about is what to do about this relationship the purpose of what happened, what's to come. Okay, Page of Swords. Eight of Wands. Hanged man, yeah, you've been kind of stuck for a minute. What do I do? Two of Pentacles, yeah, what do I do about this relationship? About this betrayal? Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands. All right, well, no matter what, Scorpio, know that karma is favoring you in all of this two of wands there's the choice the star and page of wands okay and look at here on the bottom we even have the lovers so scorpio what i see happening is you're gonna walk away from this because we have the eight of cups in your near future okay and where you felt very stuck in walking away healing whatever the case may be you're coming out of that you're coming out of this hanged man energy and you know um, this is Neptune and Neptune has been retrograde for a while but finally went direct and that's probably why you're gonna be able to walk away that's the decision you're about to decide you're going to take an action and Scorpio you're just going to walk away from this okay um because even though I feel some of you could really retaliate and not even retaliate in a negative way but more of um like telling the truth of oh well I know your secrets I could tell your secrets and if everybody knew the truth about you like um, you have a lot of information or dirt on them 
okay but you're gonna choose to just walk away from this you're gonna choose not to retaliate and I see Scorpio you've really gone back and forth within yourself of do I handle this with my stinger or do I handle this with my light okay because Scorpios you guys can go very very deep and dark into the shadow and you can also rise so very high into the light of the angels okay and in this situation I see it more as a neutral thing where for your own sake at first it's like you know what I don't care what this means spiritually and you know what this is Saturn and Pisces Saturn is currently in Pisces as well okay so with Neptune and Saturn both showing up in your reading and they are both currently in Pisces that tells me that this relationship has a soul contract to it again whether it's a friend family member romance etc there's a soul contract there is a very deep underlying soul lesson that you're receiving from this experience as well as the other person or persons involved. And your best course of action is to just walk away from this and let karma sort it all out. And I feel if you try to have a conversation, try to communicate, try to work this out verbally it's gonna really go nowhere because this other person involved I just feel they're a bit full of themselves so I'm gonna actually pull a couple of cards about this person Wow, justice. Yeah, you let karma sort it out, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, Wheel of Fortune. This here is Spirit saying karma can handle this better than any sort of like revenge, retaliation. Even if you have some hot, hot tea that you could spill, Scorpio, don't do it. Don't do it. Part of this soul lesson for you is coming into a place of trust and realizing your connection to the universe and all things eventually balance out okay and this person coming through with justice and will of fortune karma is going to hand back to them exactly what they've handed to you and others but it's going to be handed to them in the way that's going to impact them the most to teach them they need to learn about compassion and empathy and uh, it's like people aren't disposable this person has some issues with that people aren't disposable and this relationship with you this experience with you is uh, trying to help teach them that that's written in the soul contract is you teaching them the value and the worth of a person because Scorpio you're not an easy act to follow okay this person you know they are gonna miss you who you are the way that you care the way that you were there but karma life has to hand them a few things for them to figure that out and there's some good karma coming in for you as well with this being the six of wands the card representing you in this reading you're coming into victory success if this person lied about you the truth is going to reveal itself all on its own you don't have anything to worry about Five of Pentacles, the Tower. You know what, Scorpio? I don't. I don't think this person expects you to walk away, to cut them off, to not retaliate. In fact, for some of you, it's almost like this person has tried to push your button so hard to get you to react, to get you to retaliate. 
And that's why Spirit's coming in so strong, saying, nope, walk away from this. Just walk away. It's pointless to try to have a conversation right now. It's pointless to really try to speak your side of things. It's all going to work out. Like, Spirit sees this. Your angels see this. They have your back. And if somebody needs to be exposed, karma's got you. There's nothing you need to do. And this person, Scorpio, does not expect you just to throw your hands and walk away and say, all right, enough, I'm done. I don't care. I don't want to fight. I don't want to try to preserve this. I don't care. of pentacles there's better things coming for scorpio you don't got time for this mess yeah temperance scorpio things are going to balance out for you next card would even be the nine of cups things are going to balance out for you you don't have anything to worry about as long as you just walk away from this and let it go you will get your healing you will get your validation you will get your moment the universe has your back. And the way this all unfolds, this person does not anticipate, does not expect at all. Karma's coming. Nobody can run from karma. Whatever darkness they handed you is about to be delivered to them. Special delivery from Karma. Here you go. And you also receiving a special delivery from Karma. But restoring something that you've lost or that has been taken from you. Honor thyself. Self-love, self-respect, you are precious. Yep, Scorpio. Walking away is the best thing you can do. Unrealistic expectations. Um, if this is like Spirit saying at this time to expect this person to change or to own up is unrealistic. Because they haven't learned, they haven't grown. And the darkness that karma will hand back to them is tools to help them evolve all right so that they do treat people better yeah disappointed try expecting anything from this person other than what they've already shown you it will just leave you disappointed happy surprise karma's got you look at what's next universal favor So where this person left you very disappointed, down, sad, the universe is about to bless you with a happy surprise. And that's why I'm getting, because you know, I'm all about healing, forgiveness, working things out. But for some reason, it's like right now, your best bet is just to walk away, wash your hands of this. Because they are not in a place consciously to act different or to be different or to take the right responsibility and accountability for their actions. They're just not in that space. And that's why it's best for you to walk away and let karma handle them because karma is going to give them the lessons that they need to shift, to change, to have more heart. Because they're very self-centered. Me, 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 me. And doing this, Scorpio, a very beautiful, happy surprise is coming in for you guys. Good karma is coming your way.
right? 1001, spiritual awakening, new beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, heading in the right direction, a new phase in a religious or spiritual quest. You're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like a dark night of the soul experience. You're on the path to enlightenment, and this too shall pass. Okay, so endings and beginnings represented with this number right here. And this is your angel saying, through this experience, you've had a spiritual awakening, and the other person involved is going to have a spiritual awakening. And that's why even if you know, you could hurt this person back with just truth and facts without even being vicious or vindictive. Okay, it's don't, it's not the right time for that. It's better to just walk away for now because the truth will reveal itself here. Absolutely. And there's some really good stuff in store for Scorpio. And this is what Spirit wanted you to know right now. And if you see this number repeating after this reading, that's Spirit reminding you, hey, I've got you. Let karma handle everything. Let karma balance it all out. All right. So those are your messages, Scorpio. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.